Hello, fellow mages. My name is Teal Apostate, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a very small, very cute, very kawaii little unboxing for you, and a bit of a first impressions try on little mini haul. So, the place that I went to was Spree Picky. So, Spree Picky is a website that carries loads of anime and J fashion and Lolita and Harajuku style clothing, accessories, bags, footwear. They have loads of stuff on there and it tends to be like the really popular stuff, especially things that you see blowing up on Instagram. And I've seen them advertise quite a lot, especially on Instagram. I get targeted ads for them all the time, even though I follow them there already. So I have shot with them once before and I really liked the experience. So I thought I would get a couple more items to suit like my kawaii urges. I also want to say that this video is not sponsored in any way. I am nowhere near a big enough YouTuber to get offers like that, but just in case there's any sort of discrepancy, you know, I'm not sponsored, I purchased these things myself, unprompted, and I can say what I want about the brand, this will be a real review, so there you go. Also, just before we start this unboxing off, this little grey lump next to me, it's my cat. I don't know if you guys are ever interested in seeing my cat, but uh, here you go, here's a little sneaky peeky at my kitty cat. On with the haul. So I've actually had this package sat around for a while, it's been in my drawer like more than a month, because I just haven't really felt like doing any YouTube. So the fact that I haven't opened or worn this yet is um, testament to my dedication to this channel, so I hope you all appreciate that. <coughs> Don't worry, that's just my natural inner goth side being kind of allergic to like the cute pinkness that I've gone for today. It's fine, I'll get over it. Oh my god. This does not look like the sort of thing that I would normally buy. Oh, cute! And they gave us like a little see-through, like, sexy anime girl <laughs> charm or something, like a bookmark. I'm probably not gonna use this. Okay, so I don't have a receipt in the bag. So I will put around the screen or in the description somewhere the prices that I paid for these items because I don't feel like looking it up while doing the video. Lazy. Okay, I'm gonna start out with like the smallest thing. Um, <laughs> the first thing that I got is a beret and I got this beret because first of all I don't really own one, I've never owned a beret before and I feel like it would go with another item that I'd already got from Spree Picky, which I will show you in this haul as well. And look, all I'm saying is, this beret has a bow on it. <laughs> I know that's not really like a big thing to some people, but I don't know. I figured if I was gonna get a beret, why get like a plain one when I can have one with like a cute little tassely bow? I'm pretty sure it goes at the back. Okay, yeah, I can't wear a beret with a wig. Okay, this is as good as we're gonna get over the wig, but does it not just look super cute? I don't know, I just kind of wanted this because I really wanted a beret. I just wanted something to like accessorize with a little bit because I never wear hats, it's not really a thing. The thing is though, most hats really suit me. I just seem to have a head shape that suits hats but I never really wear them so I'm gonna try and take advantage of that and see if maybe berets are a hat that does suit me oh okay this is the pinkest girliest cutest most kawaii thing I have ever purchased in my life and I feel like it's not me at all but do you know, I have nothing like this in my wardrobe and I definitely do still tend to stray to the whole gothy side, occasionally like Lolita style goth, but mainly I like lace, I like chains, I like leather, I like corsets. I tend not to stray towards pink and frills, but you know, sometimes you just, you just gotta be. A kawaii motherfucker. So I have this. <laughs> this shirt is by far, it, it's so out of my league level cute, 
but I am willing to give this a go. Oh my goodness. Let me turn the brightness down. So this blouse is incredibly frilly, incredibly girly, and it has this embroidered, like, um, oh, what are they called? Like the Seifuku sailor style necklines. And it is the little um, sailor flap on the back and it's all bordered in this beautiful white lace. <sighs> Look, sometimes you see something so cute and you just buy it. And that is what happened here. So it's very thin is this blouse, but I quite like that. It's definitely the kind of fabric that would wrinkle very easily. And um, I am by no means to be trusted with an iron. Um, I also think that it has some elastic here to pinch the sleeve and give like these nice little roughly bits. So there are a couple little loose threads, but they so for example, let me try and hold this against my black top. There's like a couple threads that haven't been like fully cut away and I'm sure I saw a fairly long one like a moment or two ago. But there's just a couple little loose threads or threads that haven't been cut down quite as much as they need to be. But I suppose that's sort of to be expected. Um, there's a little bit of the lace that has like a teeny tiny bit of like uncut lace left on it. But it's not too much trouble to just snip those off yourself. It's not like there's anything that needs to be repaired. So, oh look at this. It's got this big beautiful bow which clips on. I love this. And to go with the shirt, I had to pick up a matching skirt. Look at this boy. Look at this. So my favourite skirts are pleated skirts. Aside from asymmetrical lace skirts that are longer in the back and shorter than the front, aside from those skirts, pleated skirts are like my favourite skirt. I kind of did buy this as like an outfit with the intention of maybe wearing it to a convention as like a set, but I did also want to wear the skirt with some more gothy things and just sort of mix a little bit of like pink cutesiness with my much more usual sort of darker spiky <laughs> kind of side. So. I don't think I would quite have the balls to wear them together as an outfit just out and about. Who knows, maybe one day I will feel kawaii enough to do that. The one thing that puts me off is the slight schoolgirl vibe about it. I do really like that and if I were going somewhere like where that kind of vibe would fit in then I would totally wear them. Like if I were going to a convention but not necessarily wanting to be in cosplay. So I would totally wear them as a set for that. But I feel like just day to day I'm probably going to wear them separately and pair them with something that I suppose kind of tones down the whole anime schoolgirl vibe. So here's how they look worn together and guys I really like this top. It's so cute, it's flowy and breathable and really comfortable to wear. The skirt on the other hand I'm not liking so much, it's much cheaper quality and much more poorly made. Even though I had my measurements when I ordered this in my size according to the chart, the skirt is way too big for me. I actually had to pin it folded at the back just to get these shots of it so it's basically unwearable. It's also super wrinkly as you can see and it's so thin in person that it's basically see through so RIP my hopes for this skirt. And the last thing that I got from Spree Picky, which I did not pick up in this order, and you have seen me wear this before, and I love this, but that is this dress, which the bow is somewhere else, but you'll see in the cutaways or pictures what this dress looks like. You have seen me wear this before, and this is from Spree Picky as well. They're all Spree Picky's own brand. And I love this dress so much, mainly because it's black, and so it already combines my kind of kawaii anime side with the need for something black. Um, so I love this dress. I think it's probably one of my favourite just day-to-day -day dresses that I've ever owned. I really, really love this dress. It is extremely comfortable. Um, I have no issues with it. It's quite thin, but it's very well made. And I get away with wearing this both as a casual dress and also sometimes as a slightly more formal dress, depending on what I pair it with and accessorise it with. With a nice jacket, I have worn this out to some quite nice semi-formal dinners. So 
I do really, really like this. The sailor style collar at the back gives it just that little bit of like a little nod to the anime, but other than that, it is just a very simple, plain black dress. I love wearing it, I love wearing it in the summer, and you guys have definitely seen me wear this in videos and in vlogs because I just really love the dress. So here's what the dress looks like on, and you already know that I love this one. The dress is so cute and comfortable, this is really my style right now, and I am loving wearing this. Even though I'm pretty tall and plus-sized, the dress is still cute and flattering. The fabric is really flowy and light, and it's great for summer, but you do have to watch out for the wind a bit, though it does make me feel like a Studio Ghibli character when this happens. One thing I will say about the dress is that because I'm tall and the dress is high-waisted and pretty short, it does tend to ride up if I lift my arms, at which point you'd be able to see my underwear, so I tend to wear a few lace modesty garments with this just in case. Still, I think that's a really minor inconvenience for a dress that looks this good and that I feel really good wearing. So, that is everything for my little mini spree picky haul. I hope you liked this video. It's a little bit different. Um, I don't normally do like clothing hauls, I don't feel, but I felt like this fit on my channel pretty well because they're kawaii anime themed clothes mostly and I don't normally see people talking about this website. I feel like if you buy anime or kawaii or Harajuku Lolita style clothing or merch you've probably come across Spree Picky in your time but I just kind of wanted to throw out there that the experiences I've had buying from them have been positive. When I made my first purchase, um, obviously you give them your email address and if that email is linked to a Facebook account, I got a message from them through Facebook to tell me that my order was processed and they also sent me a message on Facebook when it had shipped. So. I thought that was quite nice, um, it was just something that they took the initiative to do with the information that came through with my order um, and found me on a social media and gave me, you know, that information about my order. I quite liked that, um, just to have like a nice little update that doesn't necessarily always get lost in your email folder so I think the only thing that I would change about Spree Picky is that all of these items are from their plus size range which I love but I kind of wish they would expand it a little bit there are so 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 many dresses and skirts and tops that I see them advertising all the time on their Instagram this one in particular is like I want this dress so bad and they don't offer it in a plus size and I'm like internally screaming because I want this dress so much. Um, I, I love anything with like the two little white bands around the bottom, um, I just kind of really like that and the little heart style like peephole neckline is so cute and I feel like this would totally fit with my gothy vibe and I want this dress but they don't offer it in a plus size so all the clothing does have or most of the clothing yeah all the clothing does have their own um, little branding label in it but I don't know whether they actually make the clothes or order the clothes themselves or whether they just buy them wholesale and then add their own label to it I don't know if that's how it works which might be why they don't stock everything in a plus size but I really wish they did because if they had this dress I would buy two in every color <laughs> That was it for my haul, um, I hope you liked this, um, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below, have you ever shopped on Spree Picky, did you like any of the stuff that I got, are you gonna buy from them, um, do you know anywhere else that sells similar things and you wanna let me know so that I can go buy them, cause if that's the case, that would be pretty cool. So that about wraps it up for today, um, I hope you liked this video and I will see you guys in the next one, bye!